Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis and above me is Jordan. Um, today we're going to look at five options that could replace Sergio Aguero. Now I know he's got another year left, um, but just thinking ahead guys, there's nothing wrong with be about being proactive <laughs> and that's what we're doing. Now, to be fair, it's been linked with like, quite a lot of strikers recently and as we all know, there's some really good strikers out there at the moment and they all seem to be pretty young as well. So um, we're just going to go through the five that we're, we like, um, all cost a bit of money um, and then you can let us know what you think. So let's kick it off who we've got first. Erling Haaland, uh, mm. this guy has been on the rise recently, especially this season, he's been smashing it for Dortmund. Yeah, yeah. Uh, guy's only 19 years old as well. He just looks like an absolute natural clinical finisher. Mm. Like, it's insane. He, he, I think everyone has seen him because he's, he's mega at the moment. He's like the new rising star and it's you can see why. Interestingly with this one, he has a release clause which comes into play, is it after next season? Which so basically, would... yeah, this is the rumour that when the season that Aguero leaves that summer, he then has a release clause. Unless unless Borussia Dortmund sign him up on a new contract before then, he has a release clause in that summer. And he's apparently it's around 60 million, which is a joke. Yeah, that, that, that seems to, we've said it before, the stars aligned for that transfer. Mm. Like, it seems to be the perfect timing. And... I, I I would not I would not go against having this guy at our club. He's he's six foot four, so he's mm. massive, but he's also pacey as well. And uh yeah, the guy can finish from anywhere. Yeah, his finishing ability is just like just incredible. Like you just need to look at his goals and he just scores anywhere. He scores headers, left foot, right foot, in the box, out the box. He's just he's he's, he's just a class player and the fact he's only nineteen, um you know, Borussia Dortmund now, if that, that contract um, release clause is true, there's no way that they won't be offering him a new deal like now, basically, because they just, they just can't, they just can't have that. He's current, current form in the current climate. He's probably worth hundred mil, I think, um, with yeah. his goals. Um, I know he's not been around that long, but you know, you got to protect, you got to protect your assets and the way he's going He's gonna be. It's gonna be a big, big transfer if he, if he ends up leaving. But yeah, that's that's the first one. We all know what he's like. We've all probably seen him and um, a goal machine. Um, all right, move on to number two, uh, second option, and it's uh, Harry Kane. Um, this is an interesting one, right? Because he's twenty six. We all know what he's like. He's a bagsman, and he's bagsman uh, England captain as well. And there's no doubt in my mind that if he come into our team, he'd score goals. Um, it. His penalties, he can score all the penalties. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him miss a penalty. His penalties are really, really good. He can score in the box, out the box with his head, left foot, right foot. So he is a perfect striker. One of the problems you got with him is his contract situation and the valuation. We all know what Daniel Levy is like at Tottenham. That 100 million pound is the minimum that they will take, <laughs> in my opinion. It's probably going to be a lot more than that. I think you're probably going to be looking at around 150 million. I think it's a great option, guys. Um, it is a, it is expensive, and you know whether you, you prefer Haaland, I don't know, but he's going to come in and he's pretty much going to guarantee your goals. He knows the Premier League, so you're going to have no issues there. He's played Champions League as well. I just think that it's yeah, all right. You should have passed the ball to Sterling for England, but <laughs> it's 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 an option that you've got to consider. And I know it's a lot of money, but it's not my money, and I don't really care about it. Um, and, you know, we're going to lose one of the best strikers in the world in, in Sergio Aguero. So I don't want us messing about looking for some hidden gem. No, 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 no. Not this time. I want someone who's going to score goals for the club. You want someone who's going to guarantee that. He needs to guarantee the fact that when Aguero leaves, the, the massive gap that he leaves, you need someone to take that and fill that. And, mm. and Harry Kane would do that. Because, mm -hmm. like you say, he just guarantees your goals. Every season he bags loads. And yeah. um, I'm not sure... If people might be worried about his fitness because recently he has been getting injured quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if that could rise to be an issue. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that. Obviously, we have got time until Aguero leaves. But I, I, I could see him at City and I think he'd do really well at City and fill that void. Mm, yeah, and surely he wants to win trophies. I mean, you could have be one of the best players, well, one, of the, one of the best strikers ever to have played in England, for England. Um, and what, you're just going to... Has he, has he ever won a trophy? Yeah, just, just I don't, not I don't win know. Anything. Has he maybe won the League Cup one year? I don't, I'm not sure, but he's... You know, surely the back of his mind is like, yeah, I want to be loyal to Tottenham, but 
I've got it. You got to look after number one, aren't you? And I think he's going to be looking for the exit door pretty soon. Uh, he's, I don't think he did himself any any favors in signing a new deal last year or whenever he was because that's just going to make it even harder for anyone to sort of finance a deal. But yeah, I definitely love it. It's a short list, isn't it, guys? You know, City not just going to have one guy on the, on 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 the list. They're going to have a short list of strikers, and hundred percent Harry Kane will be on that, that short list. Um, all right, who's number three, bro? Number three is the big dog. Uh, the most expensive on this list is Kylian Mbappe. Jeez, yeah. This guy's going to be worth at least, this is the least, like you're saying, the least for Kane is 100 million. This is the least 200 million. I don't even know how you put a price tag on this guy. He's insanely good. Um, obviously, everyone's seen him before. He's only 21 as well. Uh, so he's already there. He's already at the level. He, Champions League experience is only 21. He's smashing it in the Champions League. He just bags bags every game, like, pretty mm. much. He, he's so sick. And obviously, people will say that the, the French League isn't the same as the Premier League and will he cut it here? I 100% think he'd cut it here. Yeah. Is he just a more expensive Martial? Is, <laughs> yeah. is, is the risk? Now, yeah. The thing is, that value is interesting because in, if you were buying him today, that, that value is 100% around 200 million. I have no doubt in that. However, look at his contract, guys. It expires in two years. So, w if we sign in a striker when Aguero leaves, he only has one year left on his contract. Now, that 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 fee would come down a hell of a lot. Um, maybe closer to a, a hundred. I don't know because it's a very strange situation. Parish right now, their asses are going. There's no doubt about it because they're in the boardroom going. We've got one of the the most expensive players in world football, um, value wise. If we were to sell him, and his contract is running down. It's ticking down day by day, and. Yeah, I'd be seriously worried if I was yeah. PSG there. Um, obviously, th that value does have that area to fluctuate. I think it's probably likely to come down unless they can get him signed on a new deal. Um, but yeah, look at his age, guys. He's 21. He's, 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 you know what I like about him as well? He's really good to watch. He can play on the wing as well. Play on the wing, he can play up top. Um, so yeah, just a real nice sort of like balance there. He can play anywhere across the attacking line. The goal machine, pacey. He has that thing about him yeah. where you just know that this guy's going to be the best player in the world at some point. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, he's only 21, guys. He's not going to reach peak for another you know, eight, nine years. I mean, it's just... It is. It's, it's insane. incredible. It's exciting. And it's and it's and it is an investment. Mm. And it would be a worthy investment from City. If I was signing him, I'd be like, I want you to sign a 10-year contract. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. what you don't want to happen is get him on a five-year deal, still not hit peak, and then he wants to leave. And yeah. then you like you put all that work in, and then it's like, yeah, oh, it's a, it, that, that's a dream signing, that guy. It's a dream sign. Is he your dream signing as well? Is he the one that you want to replace um, Sergio Aguero with? Let us know in the comment section below. All right, um, next one, we've got Latoro Martinez. Um, good player, this guy. You know what's weird as well? Um, it says it there on the, on the fat file on screen. Um is replay is is sort of compared to Sergio Aguero, and if you watch any of Inter Milan's games, or you, you, even if you just watch the highlights, like we always say, watch the highlights. But if you watch the highlights, they can be a bit catfishy. But if you, even if you watch them, you can tell that he does really. He has a lot of similarities to Aguero. He's sort of like a real low center of gravity, um, a real powerful shot. Um, scores a wide range of goals, and he, he can score with his left foot as well, left foot, right foot. Um, that contract expire it. That's good. He's not massively like signed on a massive deal, which is decent. Um, value wise, again, this is one we often sell in these type of videos that the value can fluctuate. I've seen seventy million, but I've also seen it up to anywhere 100, 110. So it's probably going to be around that sort of figure. Um, and he's and he's young again, but he's scoring goals already in Serie A. So you know, I think this guy is one to look out for. I think the Mbappe one's tricky, you know, with the finances involved. Um, you know, he's going to want big, big wages as well. But this guy, I think I think this guy could 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 be an option. Could be an option. If, you, if you're after a like-for-like like, uh, replacement for Aguero, this is your guy. This is the guy to step mm. into that. Out of the list that we've got, he's the most like Aguero. I haven't seen too much of him, and even I know that he's been compared to Sergio Aguero. I think he's loads. actually Argentinian as well, you know. Is I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not 99 percent sure. So he's pretty much he, he's the regen of Sergio Aguero. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. So uh, 22 years old, still young as well. So 
I have no doubt he'd be able to come in and do a job for us. Mm, yeah. And, and like I said, I know a lot of people that, who follow this channel, City Extra, um, watch a lot of Italian football. So, you know, I'm, I'm expecting some good analysis from you guys in the comments section below. Are, the, are these comparisons to... Like I said, I've seen him play a few times and uh, I've watched his highlights and I, 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 see the, I see the Aguero comparison, but the people who've watched him more, like on a regular basis... Uh, you know, what? what is he like consistently? Is he consistently performing? Let us know in the comment section below. Have we got one more? Time yes. flies, doesn't it? Yes, one more. Uh, mm, okay, interesting. Play of our yeah. own, isn't it? Okay. Uh, big Gabby Jesus. And I think it's more obviously, we've put an estimated value there of around £60 million. Not obviously because we don't, we don't have to buy the guy. Mm. So this is the, the, this had happened if, say, when, G, when Aguero leaves, Jesus takes Aguero's place and we then sign a player to take Jesus' place. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously, I don't think we'd be looking at a player that we've shown today. Um, I think it's more about proving himself. I think that's what, where we'll see. We'll see in the next year, we'll see where we're at with him mm. to be able to say, right, yeah, we need to go in and get someone. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a bit of a shame that he's had his rough patch this season. I think it was nine games without a goal he went through. So that was a bit of a disappointment because that's not obviously done him any favours in terms of taking over the sort of the number one striker position at City. But look, he's still got a few games left this season. Um, he obviously, Aguero's out, which is, you know, bad for us, bad for the club. But for him, he's got to be selfish and he's got to be greedy and, and say, look, this is my time to shine. And then he's got next year, um, Aguero's probable last year at the club and Jesus then... You know, it'll be difficult because he's got a battle Aguero, but when he gets in, he's got to be he's got to be performing. I know there's, I, I'd probably say there's more City fans now saying that this is not an option than there is people saying it is an option. However, if he's to convince anyone that it is an option, he's got basically one season left to do it. And next year, he's going to have to start being more clinical in front of goal. Um, I know, I know that he works well for the team, and, and sort of the team can play well when he's in the side. But he's got to be, he's got to be more clinical next year. Um, if there's any chance of him taking that striking position, because at the moment I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. But if there's any chance of it next year, he's got to just, he's just got to get better in front of goal for me, hasn't he? Yeah, it's a pivotal season for him. It's a make or break for Jesus in that sense, because uh, if someone comes in and then Jesus is still second choice, uh, I, I think he'd be starting to question his. His career at City because he's he's going to want to be playing games. He's going to want to be our first choice striker. Mm. Uh, I love the guy and I hope I hope he can do it. Um, I want to. I want to. I'm not you. I want to believe. I, at the moment in time, I'm thinking I don't, I, I'm not seeing it, but I want to believe that he can be that guy. But I just need to see a bit more, a bit more clinical in front of goal. Jesus, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I agree with you. We, we have this belief that he can be that player, and I'm sure there'll be other City fans there who. You have that same belief that we do. All of us will be the players that are saying that we're stupid for believing that. Mm. And we need to sign someone. Um, is there anyone that we've missed off this list? Because if there has, then let us know in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you get notified every time that we go live. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>